catching the hair from underneath, just cleaning it up. Just a little bit goes a long way. Just by taking those little, little bits off really makes the, the shape a lot uh, stronger. Keep the head level. Now you can go in and clean up your shape. Um, now this is, to me, this is like one of the most fun parts of the haircut is the cleanup part. And this is the part that can make your haircut like really, really special. When you go the extra little bit, this is what's going to make your haircut be that much stronger than the person's haircut down the block. It's Because you, you're going to take that extra time and that extra finish that's going to make the biggest difference. Making her head sure her head straight, and I'm going to shoot for the chin. Now you can see the big difference on how I do this, a little bit at a time, how this starts to make the shape really, really come out. All the hard work that you did with your layering technique really starts to pay off now because you're... So now, again, his hair's dried and finished. We uh, used a vest brush, flat ironed it a little bit, and it gives us a nice feeling of what we need to do now. So we're going to start on the fringe. I originally wasn't going to go with an asymmetrical bang, but what happened was um, the way her hairline was working inspired me. And sometimes in the salon, that's just a great way to be inspired by working with a person's texture or hairlines and growth directions. So what we're going to do now is make sure the blades, again, and I talked about this before, make sure you keep the blades angled flat. If you angle them up, you're going to keep knocking the hair off the top. Keep them angled flat. And what we're going to do is we're going to go asymmetric. So we're going to go from, from this long point and we're going to work our way in. Now by keeping them flat, you can see how clean you can get. Because you have to catch parts of the bottom hair also. If you don't catch your parts of the bottom hair, it'll still look a bit um, fly away or not as strong and clean. just adding them into the fringe or bangs or whatever you call them. Always keeping, always concentrating on keeping my blades flat and catching that hair underneath. By catching that hair underneath, you make it really, really clean looking. I know I'm repeating myself, but I really feel it's like an important key factor. I'm just cleaning them up one more time, make sure we get them nice and even, one nice and uneven. And we work that real strong sweep in. By working your outline shape in, you can make this look very, very creative. So again, once you get your shape in, it's up to how you want these to look. So classic with a twist is like really, really fun. Yeah. Time. Now most of the time I have my model stand up because I really feel it's important. Uh, body position changes when someone stands up. Um, you know, for some of you that are on the shorter side and you can't really do that, just make sure that it's really important that our body position's right in the chair because it's like really important for the check of this haircut. And I'm gonna work again with the uh, flats of my blades. I'm gonna get right in here and I'm gonna really clean this shape up. This is really gonna make it, make it really pop. It's that little, little extra that you do when you're finished 
that really makes the difference on a haircut, I feel. Now I'm going to be working with this outline shape. I really want to, again, pull this in to make it tighter. Now again, when we started doing this haircut, which is really, really important, was we had our scissors angle slightly down. See, which is great. We have this hair to work with now. Uh, I don't expect this to be perfect, but I do want the hair there. I don't want the hair to be rounded up and missing. So now I have something to work with to really clean this up. 